I'm going to show you an alternative to the if block, another way to perform selection in your code. I've created a new project, let's pop a text box on there to capture some input and a button to run my program. The idea is that the user types in a temperature, maybe 15 degrees, and then the check temperature button will tell the user whether it's cold, freezing, warm, hot, that kind of thing. And although I could allow VB to do the implicit type conversion for me, I'm going to do it explicitly. Remember, a text box captures text input. I'm converting it into an integer. I'm not going to worry about my program crashing if the user doesn't behave themselves and type in a number. Now this is what the select case construct looks like. It begins with the word select, case, and then the name of the variable which I want to test, in this case I temperature, and it finishes with end select. And now I'm going to say in case I temperature is equal to zero, I will output the message freezing. If the temperature is less than zero, I'm going to output an appropriate message for that as well. If the temperature is between 1 and 10, that's cold. Notice the syntax, case 1, 2, 10. That means everything between 1 and 10 inclusive, so 1 and 10 are included as well. If it's between 11 and 20, it's warm. And let's say everything else is hot. And there it is, the select case construct. Now I could have done exactly the same thing using an if block, but arguably this is a little easier to read. It's somewhat easier to see what's going on. By the way, I could execute multiple lines of code as a result of each test. OK, it's a bit silly, but you get the point. I'm selecting one block of code or another, depending on the outcome of a test. Let's give it a try. Minus 5 is sub-zero. Zero is freezing. Water will freeze, and you can go skating. Eight is cold. Fifteen is warm. And 200 is hot. You should really test all of the boundaries as well. So you should see what happens if you enter a 1, or a 10, or 11, 20, and then something incredibly big. This program can be crashed as well because we could type in some text. But of course we could add some additional logic to validate the data before the code gets into the select case block. By the way, there are some other things I can use in a case statement. For example, I could say case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's an alternative to saying 1 to 10. So if it isn't a continuous range of values which I'm testing, that would be the way to go. And I can use all of my relational operators when I'm composing a test as well. So for example here, I've used a less than sign, but I could use greater than, I could use less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, not equal to. The same as if I was building a test for an if block. Now you might be wondering, why bother with an if block at all? Why not use select case every time? Well, there is a particular limitation when it comes to select case. You can only test one variable at a time. Let's say, for example, we've also captured the wind speed. I've just hard-coded a value for the purpose of demonstration. I can't do something like this with a select case construct. I'm testing the contents of two variables using a logical operator. 
with a select case construct, I can only test one variable at a time. I could, however, nest an if block inside the select case construct, something like this. So, if the temperature is less than zero, we'll report that it is sub-zero, and then we'll check the wind speed. And if the wind speed is bigger than 20, we'll report that it's going to feel really cold. Perhaps you'd like to give it a try yourself. Maybe rewrite the exam grading program to use a select case construct instead of an if block. By the way, different programming languages might well have their own equivalent to the select case construct. C Sharp, for example, uses the switch construct, but it does pretty much the same thing. If you see pseudocode on an exam paper, it may well be written like this. I've commented it out because it won't work in Visual Basic, but you can see the concept is pretty much the same.